that she didn't recognize him in the dim light of the fire. Wasn't that he was disguised, wearing rags like a beggar? No, there were clear signs. The scar on the kneecap, his strength, the cunning look. Frightened, leaning against the wall, she sought for some excuse, a delay, to avoid answering so as not to give herself up. Was it for him she had wasted 20 years waiting and dreaming? Was it for this wretched stranger, soaked in blood with his white beard? She fell speechless on a chair. She looked closely at the slaughtered suitors on the floor, as if looking at her own dead desires. And she said, welcome her voice sounding to her as if coming from a distance, as if belonging to someone else. Her loom in the corner cast shadows across the ceiling like a cage. The bird she had woven with bright red threads among green leaves suddenly turned gray and black, flying low on her flat sky.